Um, they really lost the game with Mirage. I feel like they had that map. They were the better team on that, but Lions just uh, climbed their way back into the game. And then on Dust 2, I feel like Lions was clearly the better team. And it wasn't even necessarily as close as the score is, so maybe like 11 16. Your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, uh, Lions definitely played solid on CT side of Mirage, but I don't think their T side was that great. They were a bit lucky to get some of the rounds, so I think overall Navi did look better on Mirage, but I mean, that's kind of Lions way of winning. They don't usually outskill their opponents, so I guess that's kind of natural for them to win in that fashion of kind of, you know, squeaking out some of those rounds that maybe they shouldn't have won. But, yeah, on Dust 2, they definitely outclassed Na'Vi by, by a ton. I mean, they, they even outskilled them a lot of times too, which you don't think that they necessarily have in them. Threats have been playing really well for them. I think that's been helping them a lot this tournament. Before, he was kind of a free kill. He never really got two kills. He would just get one and then die, but right now he's getting, you know, multiple kills. Sometimes getting 3k rounds, and I think that's helping them a lot. Yep, for sure. But yeah, we will be back in, I think, an hour for the finals. Yep, somewhere, somewhere over there. Give or take. All right, well, we tune in in around an hour. We will have the Grand Finals being streamed. Um, Fnatic versus Lions should be a pretty good game. Um, check out winout.net while you wait. Premium, four ninety five a month. Get pro play commentary, round analysis, uh, frag movies, frag demos, you know bunch of cool features you can check out to help improve your game so just check it out so this is Ron Randall Ken showing you how to I see one of my teammates spotting keeping this in mind I now smoke off the bomb tree. Ben Silly wins from Winout.net with another player. Alright, let's win out. This is Todd Anger Williams from Team Dynamic, and any player that upgrades to Winout Pro is guaranteed to see improvement in their gameplay. This is Tommy Lerpis Kavanen from Power Gaming. I've been traveling to tournaments all over the world for years now, and the best way to keep up with the latest strats and player trends is by watching Winout playbooks and commentaries. Hey guys, Tommy Lerpis Kavanen from Winout.net here with another pro strat. In this round, we'll break down Fnatic CT Pisseron against Lions on DE Nuke. Fnatic starts the round off by having three players defending the upper bomb site, leaving Ans outside uncontested. Delpan will play towards the middle rafters in upper, while Balpita watches the hut from above and Karn occasionally spots outside from top of ladder. At ramp, DSN and Ziz play a bit aggressive by pushing up in the ramp hallway, waiting for any T's in lobby or radio. Due to outside being open, Lions were able to slowly walk up and set up for an execution later on in the round. Fortunately for Fnatic, Karn is able to spot the terrorist and relays this information to his teammates. This makes Delpan rotate by dropping off the middle rafters onto the floor and shoot, shooting out the vent. Meanwhile, DSN and Ziz decide to clear out both radio and lobby and fall back to Wesher flank under ladder. Here, Karn throws a flash under the ladder and looks for any terrorists boosted on the rafters or coming up the ladder. DSM picks up the first frag on the first day as Lions attempt to push under ladder towards Ram. Karn decides to jump out of rafters behind a terrorist as they are occupied taking over ramp and picks up 4 kills the end around. This is Tommy Lerpus Kavanen. Please stay tuned for more pro strats at winout.net.